I got my Duncan. I got my dog. Both of my besties are here. Okay, I hope this is working. I have not filmed on my phone for like over a year. So first we have Toby. So currently my camera is broken because uh, it has been dropped and it broke. So we're on my phone today. Basically, in today's video, I'm gonna be answering your assumptions about me and some questions that you guys have. It's like a QA and assumption type video. And this is something I've never done before. I'm actually surprised that with like my two years of YouTube, I haven't done this video. Y'all went hard. So this is gonna be exciting. You guys are gonna learn about me. I'm gonna be exposed. All that fun stuff without further ado let's begin i keep saying without further ado in every video so i asked you guys on my instagram my instagram is underscore michelle cho make sure to go follow if you guys don't already um i asked on my instagram for the past two days um for you guys to give me some assumptions that you have about me and basically just like any guesses or questions you have and so i'm going to be answering as much as i can and there's like some really deep questions or like deep assumptions uh Let's go. This whole video is so serious. Ah! So the first assumption that I have is you don't appreciate your subscribers. Um, this actually was kind of sad because I really don't want you guys to feel like that. I'm literally, I'm so thankful for like all of you guys because without you, I wouldn't be here on my YouTube journey. YouTube has always been like a big thing that I've always wanted to do. Uh, yeah, it was kind of sad that I got this assumption, but yeah, I really appreciate you guys. Um, the next is a very much at like sad question and it's your popular at school. This is very much false, I guess. It's like fall. There's two definitions of popular in my, to me. There's like middle school popular, you know, that popular group that everyone knows, like, oh yeah, they're popular. And then there is popular as in just like a lot of people know who you are. An average amount of people know because I am new, so not many people know me. This, this assumption is also very much said. It's you have a secret boyfriend. I'm going to say this is false. I have been single my whole life single life single life baby single life but if you guys think i have a secret boyfriend where is the secret boyfriend please, please find, find him, him for, me. for me the next assumption is you don't have any siblings this one is false i have two brothers caleb and joshua they're both younger than me they're in like elementary whoa they're in elementary school there's like flower petals flying in here, girl. The main character. The next assumption is correct. It is you really want to move to London. Girl, I really do. It's like a big dream for me. Like if I were to choose like a place I wanted to live, it would be London. Like something about London and just like Europe, like leaving America itself. So I've been here my whole life. The next assumption is a half and half and it is you are really quiet and introverted. I don't know how to explain this. I'm like an introvert extrovert. You can ask the people that I know. They'll all say like different answers just because like I have a different amount of closeness with like everybody in this world. But if I'm comfortable with you, I will be like loud and outgoing. And there's like days where I am sociable and outgoing, but there's also days where I'm so friggin socially awkward like i can be pretty awkward sometimes and there's like people that i like instantly click with there's people that take me a lot more time you know uh the next assumption is you're not actually a virgin i do want to stay a virgin until i get married i am very much a virgin and very much single for like my whole life you're adopted this one is false um hopefully if it hopefully it's false if it's not false my parents have obviously never told me but i think i'm i think i'm not adopted but if i am my parents have some explaining to do the next assumption is you want to move back to your old state this is false i personally love it in pennsylvania and i do not regret moving here he drinks so much water he's probably gonna pee on me uh the next assumption is you're a really nice person um not to like boost my ego or anything brothers would probably think otherwise they probably think i'm really mean i try to be nice to everybody and treat people the way that i want to be treated because i obviously don't want to be treated like crap so yeah i try my best to be a nice person and to be nice a lot of people say that i'm really intimidated 
intimidating and look mean until they actually meet me so there's that the next assumption is you want more pets and this is true i do this is actually my first pet not including like the few fish that i had a while ago i've wanted a dog my whole life we just never got one um now we got one <laughs> So I do hope to get more dogs when I'm older and I want to like have a lot of dogs one day. Like when I'm old, I hope to like have a lot of dogs. Uh, the next assumption is that people make fun of me for my YouTube channel. Not really, this is kind of false. I feel like people do talk behind my back or at least like when I first started and had like seven subscribers. A lot of school people probably did talk bad about me, but no one actually had the courage or like audacity to come up to my face and like make fun of me to my face girl i don't know this is like seventh grade but now people are like people are chill they don't say anything about it but i don't really mind because i enjoy making videos for you guys girl i like doing youtube and i'm not gonna stop doing youtube that that came out in a lot of assumptions also because i am pretty busy from school so my active levels on youtube aren't that high but it is coming guys i am literally starting to upload every week and i'm kind of proud of myself trying to get that content for you guys another assumption i assume that you want to stop being a youtuber just answer that i really don't i love this as and i hope that it can be like a part even like a part-time job you know like i don't know i love do i love doing youtube it's like my favorite thing the next assumption is that you're tall and this is false i feel like i'm pretty average i'm five foot four if that's tall i don't know if it's short all my friends here are taller than me they're all like five eight five seven but yeah people say that i look pretty tall until they meet me in real life because i'm not actually as tall as i look in my pictures on instagram i guess the next assumption is you want to start dating sometime this year or next year um i guess i like i do occasionally joke about it with my friends like oh yeah i want a boyfriend or something but i don't actually mean it like being single is not bad like there's nothing negative about it i'm living fine i'm doing fine i don't need no man i don't really feel like dating until at least like i'm a sophomore or something but i don't know opinions can change this is like not wrong or correct just because i really never really thought about it oh no the next assumption is you have good grades um let's say this i am an a student but my english grade right now is not doing so hot i have my weaknesses and this year's obviously been a lot harder for me um grade wise the next assumption is by my bestie eva it is you make tiktoks to cope and she's correct she's very much correct i whenever i have to like rant about something instead of going and telling somebody i usually just make a bunch of tiktoks about it and then post them privately and just send them to eva your family is either rich or high middle class this is also a very much said assumption and so currently our financial situation is i mean it's a personal subject but i don't like to say that i'm rich i don't like to say that i'm in any class or anything because money is a very different thing for everybody like if you're in college and you can afford textbooks you're rich like if you can afford to get your own textbooks and stuff you're probably like considered rich so i don't know how to explain money but i don't want to say that i'm rich or high class or anything i would just say that my dad is a successful man and he makes enough money to cover our school our house just like basic living stuff and i'm very thankful for that the next assumption is you are very hot and i do agree this is very much true i'm very hot I don't know, but I have moments where I actually feel kind of hot, to be honest. That's when I post on TikTok. You get jealous. Uh, okay, I, I would say this is false, but I don't want to say this is false because social media is like a toxic place sometimes. Like there's positives to it, but also negatives. This whole thing is turning into like a mental health talk. The next assumption is you want to be popular. Being popular, like I said, the two types of popular. The middle school popular, I really don't care. I just like having good friends who are supportive, being well known. I mean, hopefully my YouTube channel can grow and more people get to watch my videos. Being popular in a YouTube perspective, hopefully. I mean, that is like my dream. You've gotten hate before, yes. This is true, I've gotten hate before. I don't really, to be honest, I don't get a lot of hate. I feel like people 
dislike me but they just don't ever actually show it but hate doesn't really get to me so i guess it didn't really do anything i've gotten like three or four maybe hate comments i don't really remember these comments i don't i don't remember but i do know yes i have gotten hate you don't like editing i do love editing videos um i actually love it like it's so fun to do but when there's times where i do not enjoy it as much when like i have to edit a video and i'm like on a really strict deadline and i'm literally gonna die and i'm still stuck on the rough cut that part is pretty kind of trash when like the rough cut is kind of boring but then when you get to like the text and the effects and the editing part that is fun. One is you don't really like filming videos anymore. I do. I really do like filming videos, but personally, I have been low-key stuck. If that makes sense on video ideas, and I'm not really sure what to put out for you guys. If you guys have any suggestions for videos, please comment them down below. But I do love filming videos. I just have less time because it's almost the end of the school year, and I have a dog, and I barely have time for myself. My life has been really busy, and I'm like, tired like all the time you live in pittsburgh and you are right i am a little bit away from pittsburgh like the city but i do live in the pittsburgh area you're not productive all the time this is very much true i am a pretty big procrastinator i don't really like that about myself but it's a thing that is about me you want to give up on youtube again i do not want to give up on youtube i'm going to continue trying i'm literally answering like all the deep ones <laughs> you're friends with famous people i do have some pretty big i do have some internet friends who have pretty big presences on social media i'm very proud of them so yeah i would say that i i wouldn't say like harry styles type famous but they're very successful good job love you the next one is you talk about your dog too much this is actually kind of correct and i'm kind of sorry to anybody that i talk to i don't know how to explain this but the level of how much i wanted a dog is like not even healthy I have dreams about dogs all the time and <laughs> I don't know, I like cried when I got a dog. Yeah, I do kind of talk about him a lot. You are a simp, and but you never get asked out or have only been asked out once. Mm, this is like half and half because I am a pretty big simp, I guess. I would consider myself a simp type person, but I have been asked out more than once. I just have never said yes. Okay, the next assumption is you like reading, but it's hard to find a book you like. Girl, that is the most accurate thing I have ever heard in my life. I enjoy reading a lot, and then when reading became a thing for a grade, I started not liking it as much. Like, I don't think I've liked a book since, like, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Your parents are chill? Mmm. I guess they're like half and half chill. Sometimes they can be like overprotective and sometimes there's also, yeah, they can be chill sometimes. They're like both. Mm, okay, your favorite color is purple or pink? Yeah, my favorite color is pink. <laughs> the answer was so dry. <laughs> okay, this is a question. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be an interior designer. I want to be an interior designer so bad. Like decorating houses, doing the interiors. Okay, well guys, that, that was like 30 minutes of me answering your guys' assumptions. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really do appreciate you guys. And I hope that you guys know that. And there were a lot of assumptions, but I just read the ones that were kind of deep and like personal, I guess. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. and. I I maybe we'll do something like this later in life again. Love you. Bye.